Mr. Chairman, I, I really had not intended to speak today. Uh, in fact, I didn't even bring any prepared remarks. Uh, but I jotted down a few things today as we go through this process. I don't really like uh, having a committee mark up on these partisan legislation just because there's so much rhetoric, so much discussion around uh, this extreme point, uh, extreme declaration on one side or the other. But as I sat through here, we, we've talked a lot about different things that really didn't have bearing on what we're talking about today. Talked about the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which actually helped the economy. I mean, we had some great things going in the U.S. economy before COVID shut it down. We had actual real wage growth increasing in America for the first time in decades. And, and yet, we talk more about other issues instead of what's going on. We talk about Afghanistan today. Uh, and yes, today's the ninth day after President Biden's pulled out and left Americans still in Afghanistan. Uh, but we can continue to talk about that, and we will for, for days to come. You know, we talked a lot about what's really in this bill today. You know, the comments have been made is that there's, a, there's investment being done. Well, not every spending program is an investment. Let, let me say that again. Not every spending bill is an investment. You know, it was mentioned earlier that 16% of the U.S. GDP is what's been collected in revenue for the federal government. What wasn't mentioned was that actually the federal government in 2019, before COVID affected things, the federal government was spending 35% of the U.S. GDP. Spending isn't always improving our lot in life. You know, an investment bill is something that builds for the future, not just a spending program that gives money to selected individuals at the end of the day by taking away from others. I can say that I've served in Washington, D.C. for four years now, and there's not a spending tree or money tree that uh, magically comes out and, and brings the money to pay for the spending. You know, Americans are, are a caring people. I mean, we, we want to have that safety net for individuals, but safety net shouldn't become a way of life. It shouldn't become a way that allow people not to work to improve their lot in life, to improve what they can do for their families. Our children and grandchildren will be paying for decades to pay off this spending bill, and I don't think that's what we want for American and to be our legacy coming out of this. With that, I yield back, Mr. Chairman.